DX waves on that AWR. So what report you put together? No, this uh, frequency schedule. No, I all tabulate and and I prepare. You you Tony tablet Rock. based on only South Asia, not worldwide. On what you are listening, what no, stations no, you are getting? No, what is what is prepared in Goa? I mean in South Asia. What is uh, what you have uh, caught on? No, no what they are propagate, uh, what they are broadcasting to South Asia. So how do you calculate? How do you? No, check I go this? to HFCC and this. I go to HFCC high frequency listing. And These all. are stations which are listed or which you have heard. These are listed and heard as well. Heard also. Yeah. Which are the stations you hear, for example? Or oh, BBC. Voice BBC of is common. The lesser common ones. Voice of Vietnam, even Radio Havana, Cuba. You get here in Goa? Yeah, because that that Batua, uh, no, that Kuki one, Titan, South Philippi, that uh, Chinese relay station, they have, they have 250 kilowatt power. Cuba has a relay station in China? No, uh, and the Chinese have set up relay station in Cuba. I see. And the former USSR also has those Batua transmitters, those low power, they are of this. But where? Former USS, in where? Cuba itself. In Cuba. In Cuba. Which and they have another set of relay stations. Which are the radio stations, you are, which are the radios you have used since your younger days? Dozens of them? No, not so many. All this Philips Skipper. I had one. Skipper. Skipper, yeah. Skipper FM? No. Peco by Calcutta, Peco, Peco Electronic, Peco Electronic, Philips, Phil the big Calcutta big means. set costing 160, uh, 1060 rupees, 1000. Yeah, one in, in that time, now it is 70,000 at today's rate. 70,000? I mean, no, I mean that time, no, in 75, it will cost you 1000 I had paid for, battery and mains. I bought Peco in 94, I bought a Yours Philips was a Skipper. Or something? Yours was too, Skipper? Your oh, commander or something. I was trying to locate yeah, it, the selector. big set, no, the big set. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen. What was it? What was it? You remember? No, I don't remember. But it was quite, yeah, it was some comparable to a skipper. Which when you bought it in which? Nineteen ninety. Uh, uh, Nineteen eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Ah, okay. What would it have been? Well, somewhat like a skipper. Somewhat. How many stay? How many radios have you owned in your life? Uh, no, very. My father did. Doesn't. Philips, no Holland, neither. But you should not pick stations. I know maybe the IFT. Sato was saying you have to replace the IFTs and all. My cousins had those Melky and all. There, Murphy and all. We would. Pick up, pick up stations. stations. Yeah, I was wondering why my Philips Holland was not picking up. Maybe something he had to do. So who, Goa and all they would pick. Who so. were the big guys in the radios in Goa? You mentioned Sato Sato Gomes. Yeah, Sato Gomes. Yes, yes. He was based in Panjim. Tell us about him. Yeah, he would go anything. He would repair anything. Yeah, like a manufacturer, he would be like. Based where in Panjim? Next he to Kalangut, the. He's man from Kalangut. Yeah. Somewhere near Rock Ribeiro and all that. He's from Kalangut. Yeah, Kalangut. Sato Gomes. Yeah, yeah. And then in Mapsa there was uh, Mr. Dalal. Penjim. You repair, you would make those foils and all, no? Wall sets, wall yeah, sets. Yeah, yeah, sets. My dad. No, and foils also, if you had to, wanted to, I mean, to temper with a radio or something, you would extra adjust. bands, those 11 meter really? bands and all, then he would make. He would yeah. get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would design for you in that way. My da I remember he had his house at Mapsa, though he was based in Panjim next to the secretariat. Yeah, yeah. In, 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 in the. In the in the Kamat Kamat's house. Yes. But Kamamai Kamat's house. But in Mapsa he had his house and his what workshop. And he actually bought, uh, he actually created, my dad bought a, for 1500 he brought a suitcase sized 3 in 1, which was a radio, a record player and something else, I don't know what. Not cassette player, something else. Okay. So he had made all that. You remember Armand from Mapsa or Armand was before your time? There was a guy called Armand Costa, Armand Costa, Costa or something like that. Armand, next to the municipality, you know him? He was deep into electronics. Deep into electronics. Yeah, in those days, receivers were not really available, no? They were, even Radio Islands used to have that receiver shopping list and another thing, no? another book where I they see. would encourage you to design radios and really? make those, yeah, yeah. And in, in those, those days, it was not yeah, available. Dalal also, he used to do all those calls, and no, I also went one day to him, I said, come and see if you can integrate the 11 meter band, because Philips have a till 13 meter band, yeah. And, and no one used to waste radios, all radios were repaired then. Now yeah, you're saying, yeah. even the basic transformer that... They used to, you know, rewind that coil and now they just throw it. So Zenon, throw. you're saying now that uh, people don't repair radios anymore in Goa? Hardly? Yeah, I don't see anybody. Maybe I'm going to Margaon, let's see that. What, Placidio Plus and? Margaon Electronics? No, no, he was working for the, just retired from yeah. All India Radio. All India Radio, retired. At, like uh, at Borda, at Borda. 
I don't know whether their family owns a printing press. I he, really he was, don't know. But he was working. He's retired. He was working for the All India Radio. He was a uh, this uh, Costa. No, Pantaleno and something. I think mm. Pereira. 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 I see. Pereira. I see. He will have some idea, no? Because Very he was in those uh, bumbling transmitters. Tell us some names of people who were involved in DXing in the 80s, 70s, 80s. Rajesh Desa, young boy from you know, on top Polytechnic, uh, on Altin. He would who say. went into computers subsequently? Uh, no, Rajesh no. Desa, one no. young chap. Okay. He used to, you know, used to used to do Polytechnic. He used to stay up in, he used to stay in Maltin, and his father had a tractor shop in Kampal or something in Santinez or something. Like Opposite Dawlat Building. Yeah, and, and this Flavio Raposo and all you know, no? Flavio yeah. Raposo and Didier is to all in Didier de Mello, Didier, Didier de Mello, who passed away. Passed away, passed away. Uh, Rajesh Desai is the same Rajesh Desai who went into computers, black yeah, magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same fellow, yeah. Tractor yeah, yeah. shop. Yeah, tractor shop. Uh, he was into shop. DXE. Yeah, yeah, he's doing, yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. So, uh, do you think the field is changing for better or for worse, radios? Stations are there. Uh, it is going on smoothly, you no. Know? I mean, but it's not as big as it no, was once. No, no. In those, you had all the whole world. You were spoiled for choice. You can say, you no, know, because so many stations, so many frequencies. It was our window to the world, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In the seventies, eighties. Yes, yes, yes. Then when it stopped being so. 90s, I think. But, but at the same time, also, China and all, they modernized transmitters. China came in 2000 with those high power, Urumqi and what, Kasi, Kashgar, all those, Beijing, all those relay sites. They came in 2000, not earlier. Norway and all, Denmark, they had earlier in those five hundred. Radio Sweden transmitters. International. Yeah, Radio Sweden, Hornby, some, no? I, I remember yeah, being, you, yeah. being in touch with uh, Radio South Africa. Yeah, I, uh, getting badges from uh, Radio Berlin International, the East East German ones. East German ones. Even and South Deutsche Welle. You had Sorry? South Africa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. They sent in apartheid days, huh? when Apa it was still yeah, apartheid yeah, yeah. country. You could barrister in those days. So, I mean, yeah. receiving all this thing. You know, yeah, stuff. it was India didn't have diplomatic connections with them. Connection. And once in a way, we got something from China, we would get show cause notices. Show cause why it should not be confiscated yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. So, which other countries you, you got uh, QSL reports from? QSL cards, acknowledgement cards? New Zealand and all far off. Many, many. Yeah, I was not into so into the collection of QSL, okay. but I would write to the engineers and get letters from there. Uh, Latin America? Uh, technical stuff from really? them. Really? Yeah, I still have those letters from these engineers from the BBC and all. I have those technical who are, stuff. Who were the big names of, broad, of uh, DXing in those days? All those, uh, Glenn Hauser, even he's there, he's 70 year old, American Air Force pilot. Then Ivo Ivanov, Radio Bulgaria, Frequency Manager. They still there. Who else is In there? The, the Netherlands, there was someone no, who had a program. What was Yeah, Media Network, Jonathan Marks. Jonathan Marks. Yeah, he had a Jonathan DX Marks. program, multimedia. And now he's come up with that Radio RNW Vintage Vault. All the world during COVID days, you know, he has rearranged all this program. Old program? You can go through it, yeah. Of course, Sri Lanka was a uh, hot favorite in Goa. Uh, the in Sri Lanka days, Broadcasting yes, yes, Corporation. A Kala station, no? The Kala. They had the oldest where? transmitter in. That time it was SCZ, no? BBC, um, Armed Forces, Empire, British Empire Service. And then, you know, there was a serious uh, story about that, no? No. They relocated to Kranji, Singapore, and uh, first in. It was meant for the British services, the yeah, Sri yeah. Lanka station? For station, yes. First they started with 7.5. They had in Vika, Veli Kada, no, the first, then it shifted to Ekala. I see. Then in Ekala, Radio Japan also built in 1990s, along with the Voice of America. You know, Voice of America used to get power, in just 35 kilometer countries, there should be a, quite, you, you could. You there were some programs reception. which were so iconic, everyone remembers, and someone was talking about it the other day, the jazz program of uh, Voice of America, now Music USA. Yeah, now, now yes, yes, now I Music USA. Melvin, Mes Melvin Mesquita was uh, talking about it in his book. In, okay. They used to have listener clubs all over the place, including in Goa. Okay, okay. Melvin Mesquita. Melvin Mesquita. That's amazing. Uh, what, what, what for the future? You're the last radio man standing in Goa, Zenon. Uh, no, there should, I don't know. There should be some more, no? including you. <laughs> no, no. You were no. listening. I was days. on the periphery. I was on the periphery. <laughs> I would write to them. Yeah. I would ask for QSL cards. We would buy T-shirts. I remember buying a t-shirt from Radio Sweden, Sweden International. International. Yeah. Yellow okay. and blue. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> I know you are a reluctant interviewer, but we've got 9 no, minutes. Honey. Almost no, 10 minutes. So, almost 10 minutes. Thank you very much.